Yo, what's up guys, and today we're gonna play this game here. Once again, we're gonna traumatize ourselves. Part 2, Doki Doki Literature Club. So, this part right here is, you do poems. So, you choose words you think your favorite girl will like. The girl you sing for will like. So, the girl you sing for is this one. The one, the... Purple air girl from that one psychological anime or her game. So I'm gonna choose something she will like, like fear. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, why did you jump? Or does it matter? Okay, so I'm gonna choose disoriented. Disoriented. Okay, there. Anxiety. There we go. Let's speed run this. Frightening. Here we go. Um, anger. Okay. Horror. Yeah. Hmm. Disaster. Like that. Apparently, she likes. <clears throat> funny. Funny, funny. So there will be some words she that that she supposed to like. She will like instead for some reason. I don't know, guys. I totally don't know. I totally didn't receive spoilers. I don't know, guys. I totally don't know. So mistake and hopeless. Uh, explode. Hmm. Heartbeat. Hmm. Hmm. Extreme. Um. Uh, eternity. Uh, waterfall. Bra. Uh. Infinite. Uh. Sag. All. As I expected. Mm, prayer. Okay. Scars. Stop. Stop. Uh, I need to be careful. Cage. There. Mm. Uncontrollable. There we go. Hi again, Clay. Yo, what's up? How are you? Monica. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ah, ah, ah. Nah, don't worry. Okay, mm -mm. let me prepare the voices like the last video. Mm -mm. Because it's funny and it will never stop. No, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Welcome back to the torture club. What was the last comment? So everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Clay. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any stack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year, and last year too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us serious, seriously, then you won't see the end of it. That's a key. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <coughs> M M M. That sucky finds herself stuck between Monica and Sayin. Monica and manga. Manga is lit literature. Yes. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Clay always gives it. He's best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with fuzzy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. 
how depend he dependable dependable Sayori that's because your runes your rune is so messy it's distracting and you almost set your house on fire owns hmm ha comedy humorist is that so <laughs> You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little chillos. <laughs> How come you and Clay can become good friends too? Uh -oh. so, 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 <clears throat> so, Sayori. <laughs> As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation you just put me into. Oh no, you even broke you something today, you know? Okay, you know what? I'm stopping this. <clears throat> oh wow, you even broke you something today, you know? But wait, Sayori! Huh. And me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? What is it? Never mind. Ha 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 ha! Funny, funny comedy humorist. How you made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. Uh, what did I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to ruin this voice. It's just funny and comedy and humorist and comedist and comedian and humorist and piadero and piadista. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture for you is a pleasant surprise. You're making me happy, no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. You reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked up so picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we called, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is. Ugh! How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks so like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Hell! Hell! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Your face is already burning in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is run mashing around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover front of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, it seems to be on the first few pages. <laughs> Crap! 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 Dang it! Game over shit! I, f I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. Hmm. 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 But I only.
Lily makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing it made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was focused and I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? <laughs> I wanted to reread some of it. No, no, no. <clears throat> I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. The Scurrios. How come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, but that's not what I mean. I mean, I just happened to bring two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Hmm... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is the portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. <coughs> Basically, it's about this girl in high school, high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets struggled by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison and rule her life is in dangerous and her danger. She, she needs to be desperate to choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. Okay, don't spoil me, bro. I'm sus. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark don't come from nowhere. <laughs> he gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Clay? No, it's not a, not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kinds of stories kind of stories so don't worry I hope so yeah I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things she's so shy and reclusive on the outside but her mind seems to be so competitive not so but her mind seems to be completely different completely completely different it just that that these kinds of histories they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil but because they have to have their own because they, because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in that suddenly when you talk to related to the protagonist they are made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. <clears throat> well, I guess it's alright then. And if you... Like, I should let you know that I have this problem. When I left things, when I left things like books and writings fill my talks, talks, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. 
that. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least thing you can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started winning it, right? You don't have to! Ha 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 ha! What are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Hmm. Let me just... Let me, <clears throat> let me just get the book. I quickly retry... I quickly retry the book that I had put in my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit re here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah. Yeah! Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... 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 I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. I just... Something I'm not very used to. That is, putting company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book and s dead. Sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we reach lean in a little bit, our shoulders show are almost tonching. Oh, it feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Art. Like, art. Picture. S picture of Yuri. Picture of Yuri with ears. Here. And eyes and mouth and hands. Amazing. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. <laughs> I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddling even closer to talk that together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. Uh, it's as if we can feel the warmth of your wicked face. This is my vision. Are you ready? Ah. You turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think you got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'd be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as usual to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah, thanks. You caught new reading, Yuri no longer asks me. 
if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We got new the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go off of the page, uh, or go off the page, letting go of the page, letting it further over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds you of me. Oh, kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid you've done something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but you're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Mannerisms. I see. I see. I I I I I I I I I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Clay, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. That's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Hmm. I guess I'm more mental it's kind of good. <coughs> what are you saying? What are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, I... I... Okay, everyone! <coughs> I think it's about time we shared <clears throat> I think it's about time we share today's bones with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. You exhale, spare from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, it's not. It's fine. You loses her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of a white thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Oh, I want to prefer every two. Hmm. Hmm. I guess. I don't have too much of preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning! In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left from the book. I slip it back to my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. The relaxation ends. Creepy Creeper from my, my Minecraft at the Minecraft. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share? <coughs> well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri isn't. Sayuri isn't. <clears throat> Sayuri is in the wrinkled shit of loose leaf torn from the spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. You can already see Monica's Springstein handwriting from where I sit. Let's look at Yuri. Hello, hello, uh, hello, 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 
reluctantly comply as well. Rushing into their bags. I do the same myself. There we go. Who should I show my phone first? This is where we must make decision after decision after decision. We must be wise or else poopy shit piss. Not one that poopy shit piss happens. Come. Come poopy shit piss happens if we do not do it wisely. So let's choose. Let's show it to Sayori. And definitely we must comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. This is my good friend of all. Hey, hey, here's my poem. This is a good poem, Clay. Are you sure it's the first time? Of course. It's not that good. And I like the kind of guy who will be writing poems in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right. But that, well, that's why it impressed me. It impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't run around. I'm really happy that you just broke that rope one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the <clears throat> Not to mention the fact that I'm standing you in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Clay. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. That again? I can't deny that she's part of a reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun in here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. <coughs> now you read my poem, right? You read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Mm -mm. Quick outside pollen area to continue. Okay. Mm -mm. Dear sunshine, the way you go through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you tasting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I do trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Beautiful. Most cool poem you've ever seen today, guys. Poem of the year goes to Sayori. So good. Sayori. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Hmm. Hmm. No. Just a little bit. <clears throat> just a little bit. You can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I, I forgot to do it last night. Oh, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Oh yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or should I put it? It, mm -mm. it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? Uh, even though you were late to school? It's bad to skype breakfast. Get up cranky. 
Oh, I guess there's no point in our gun. No way, Sphinx are showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. What should I show? <coughs> What did I just do? Oh my god, okay. Next one. Mmm. Mmm. Let me see. Mmm. Here we know. Let's look at no Monica. Hello, Monica. Hair cool. Bow cool. <sighs> Hi, Clay. Having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. Ooh, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow and doing more settled in. Anyway, I want to, want to share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Clay. We're all a little bit. We were all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's a sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my phone. Hmm. Great job, Clay. How are we going? Oh, in my head, we're reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated, underestimated you, yes. This is is for me to keep everyone's expectation in slow. The way it always counts when it puts in some force. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Curie likes this kind of writing, right? Yeah. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Yeah! Alex Sayuri will exist in simple and direct words to describe sad happiness and sadness. He will like it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. But allowing people to get something out of it just by fell or letting them deeply analyze of the nuances. And it didn't take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked it though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near the level yet. No, you worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying... Uh, um, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay! I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased. 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 Toward their own kind of styles. But I always have to find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write away everyone else who wants you to write. It's not like you'll have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> okay. Get away, do you want to read my poem now? Yeah, sure. Don't worry, I'm not very good. I know. You sound pretty confident for someone who plans to not be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Mm -mm. <gasps> Hole and Mall. Mm -mm. Hole and Mall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle brought to. Truth! A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. 
by a real blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas are scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole, it wasn't too bright, it was too deep, stretching forever into everything, all infinite, infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in the... I always I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Beautiful, yes! Good job. Very good. Yes, can we all agree? Am I right? So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform. It's that if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Hahaha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When, perf when, perf when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to bet it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yes, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a perspective point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tell you it up later. Nice tip, very good. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for two. <sighs> uh -oh. Yes. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of think. Just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Good, very good advice, very good tip. Very good. Deep, beautiful, beautiful. Best tip I've ever seen in years. Now, should I show my poem to Max? Yuri. Let's go, Yuri. Hmm. As Yuri is a poem, I know such a eyes light him. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Hmm? Did I say that out loud? He was first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her wall face. Mm. <coughs> He's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Mm. <coughs> That's. I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. Soul! What kind of writing experience do you have? Oh no, it's crap it is an interview, but it doesn't matter. Your use of Imagarian metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, this is a common compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? You stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Hmm. Well, I know that. I just mean, um, um. Can we tear us off? Unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along with the words and poem, as if breaking it down more troll gold. Troro Goldly. Yeah. Okay. That's the reason I was able to tell. It used to tear a specific writing bit habits that are usually typical of new, typical of new writers. And having been choked at myself, I kind of learned to pick up some or on ten. Pick up of them. 
I think the Masters CEO will think I recognize the new writers that they tried to make their style very delete by weight. In the other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from <laughs> a writing style separate from <clears throat> Guys, it's hard to make this voice, okay? It's hard. It takes a skill. It takes like lots of skill. It takes like 10 years of skill. I call you call you call practice for 10 years and still not be able to do it correctly. But I practice it for like so much years. You don't know how much it, how much I how much I practice it for this voice. It's very hard to do it. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the mm -mm, topic matter and they forfeit the two together. The end result is the bot the style on the express <coughs> expressness are we can we can end we can knit as you refines her train of thought it's as if her demian or totally changes her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert of course that's not something you can be blamed for there are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. Let's hope that everyone else in the club gives you <laughs> valuable feedback. That's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be, gonna be, can be a little bit biased, dog. Biased? How? Oh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if you is apologizing to yourself, to me or to Ness, okay? Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I love to share my total process behind it. Riri smiles extremely as if that's a hard opportunity for her. Let's fucking go, guys! Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Let's go! Let's go! Yo, guys! Yo! Yo! Yes, very good, very good. Uh, ghost under the light, the tail drills, the bit drills of my hair, the trend drills of my hair illuminate beneath the goomber goal. Go, breathing, it must be this one or uh, one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be kept head up by the keep, the sickening blue green. Ho oh, who oh, ho oh, who of the future I back to a big calm breaking uh ooh, of the present living in the past the light flickers I figure back very good just under the light very good Very good poem, sir. Madam, I'm sorry. I have such a terrible handwriting. I mean, you have a good one. You have you have a good handwriting. I'm just not. I just not. I, I like. Um, I can't read it. It's not because of her handwriting. It's because I. Um, I can't. I like. I cannot. For some reason. Because. I'm not good with reading this kind of stuff. Yes. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. Actually, I think your writing is pretty. <sighs> yes, yes. I agree with, I agree with Clay. Eh? It's a relief. Uh, also, I like it. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. 
I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. This is our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to dig, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, play. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Oh, I suppose you didn't only glance over it at all, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to go, let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? Yeah, it's nothing really. Hers was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Don't think so? Yeah, of course. Hmm. You know. I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Clay. Ah, me too. Very good. Let's give it to the last one. That's okay. Hello. I don't. Okay. Well, <clears throat> well, it's about time. <clears throat> it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little... Uh, that's a little blunt. But excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically it's not good enough for your tastes. Get away from this back! I'll pass. Psych! Well anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Mm -mm. Eagles. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, sheep can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Beautiful Netsuki. Good poem. Yes? Good poem, dude. Yeah. She even, she even agrees with me. Good poem. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Really so convinced that they won't like it. Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't it the point of poems for people to express themselves? Or any style will make your message any less valid? Yes, exactly. It, I like it when it's easy to read, it, but it's hit too hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you, the great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight in the wordplay. Like I set up for a run at the end, and but then it made it all it fall flat and purples, and it helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. Hmm, that one was actually pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm rethinking it. I'm rereading it with my brains. <clears throat> I guess more went it to it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Professional. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the wrongest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with last go. I don't really care how everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Well, this is everyone.
I guess around the room. I was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's just seeing me for my magic reading abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my pawns can stand up to theirs. This is a literal club withdrawal. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself to. Across the room, Sayu and Monica are happily challenge. Ch ch chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective ones. Okay, you know what? Enough. Jesus Christ. It was a lot. This video getting long. It's almost one hell. Just more 10 minutes and some 30 seconds. No. Just. That's. No. F f get whatever. Okay, so. I'm gonna stop now and in the next day I'm gonna do one more video for Loki Doki 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 Literature Club. Alright. So I see you guys in the next video. Goodbye <gasps> ah!